One of the most profound inquiries that has stirred the curiosity of humanity is whether we stand alone in the vastness of the universe. Does life exist on other celestial bodies, and if so, what form does it take? What if this life is not merely alive, but possesses intelligence and advanced technology? The contemplation of these questions has enchanted the human mind for centuries, and now, the potential answers may be within reach, courtesy of the awe-inspiring James Webb Space Telescope. A marvel of scientific ingenuity, embarking on a journey into the realms of discovery. This video delves into what could be deemed a pivotal moment in human history. The identification of biosignatures and technosignatures on the exoplanet K218b by the Webb Telescope. The implications of such a revelation extend far beyond our terrestrial boundaries, reshaping our understanding of self and our place in the cosmos. As you immerse yourself in this narrative, anticipate an extraordinary tale of exploration. K218b, a celestial entity unveiled by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope in 2015, emerged through the subtle dimming of its host star as it gracefully traversed its orbit, with proportions 2.6 times that of Earth and a mass 8.6 times greater. K218b dances around a red dwarf star named K218, a stellar entity smaller and cooler than our Sun. Situated a staggering 124 light years away in the constellation Leo. To put this distance into perspective, the light we perceive from K218 today embarked on its journey when Napoleon still roamed the Earth. Yet, it is not the exoplanet's dimensions or astronomical remoteness that steals the spotlight. Rather, it is the tantalizing prospect of its potential habitability. Nestled within the habitable zone of its star, K218b basks in sufficient heat and light creating conditions where liquid water could conceivably exist on its surface, a critical prerequisite for life as we comprehend it. Yet, the prerequisites for potential life extend beyond water. A protective atmosphere becomes paramount. Herein lies the excitement. K218b boasts a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, hinting at the possible presence of water vapor and other gases conducive to life. Prior studies using instruments like Hubble have already discerned traces of water vapor and hydrogen cyanide in its atmosphere. While hydrogen cyanide may be toxic on Earth, it serves as a potential building block for amino acids, the fundamental constituents of life. K218b thus emerges as a celestial body with the essential elements for life. Water, and a hydrogen-rich atmosphere within the habitable embrace of its star. But the narrative doesn't end there. There's an additional layer of intrigue. Beneath its thick atmosphere, K218b may harbor a water ocean, a sanctuary providing stability for life to flourish. And not just any life, perhaps complex diverse life forms that could rival those found on Earth. How do we come by this knowledge? Well, that's where James Webb steps onto the cosmic stage. One of the primary objectives of James Webb is to delve into the mysteries of exoplanets and their atmospheres, seeking out telltale signs of life. These signs aptly named biosignatures and technosignatures serve as cosmic fingerprints. Biosignatures, akin to molecular breadcrumbs, signify the presence or activity of living entities on a celestial body. Consider oxygen, a quintessential biosignature on Earth, a byproduct of photosynthesis orchestrated by plants and algae. Meanwhile, technosignatures are cosmic echoes of intelligence, which signals or artifacts suggesting the hustle and bustle of advanced civilizations. Picture radio waves, a resonating technological signature on Earth, a testament to human communication and broadcast. In the cosmic theater, James Webb has been keeping a watchful eye on K218b since the early days of 2023, and what it uncovered is nothing short of astounding. Carbon-bearing molecules, such as methane and carbon dioxide, surfaced, echoes of biological processes akin to those familiar on Earth. There's even a whisper of dimethyl sulfide, a sulfur-laden compound known on Earth for its distinctive aroma emanating from marine algae and bacteria, intricately woven into cloud formation and climate regulation. The mere presence of dimethyl sulfide on this distant planet hints at the possibility of a harmonious dance between life and climate in oceans teeming with living entities. But the cosmic unveiling doesn't conclude there. Webb, our cosmic detective, also unraveled the cosmic signatures of chlorofluorocarbons and nitrogen dioxide, which is echoes of human endeavors that paint the canvas of K218b. Nitrogen dioxide, a byproduct of our earthly activities, 
a pollutant exhaled by cars, factories, and power plants, playing a role in smog and acid rain. On the flip side, chlorofluorocarbons, synthetic compounds with fingerprints from refrigerators, aerosols, and air conditioners, not only mar the ozone layer, but leave their traces on the planetary ledger of K218b. Unearthing these compounds on K218b suggests the potential presence of an advanced civilization wrestling with analogous environmental conundrums as we grapple with on Earth. So, what narratives do these revelations spin about the essence and genesis of life on K218b? The realm of possibilities unfolds like a cosmic tapestry. Perhaps life on this distant planet mirrors Earth's journey, evolving from simplicity to complexity of reasons. Alternatively, the life on K218b may dance to a different celestial tune with a chemistry or biology distinct from our terrestrial counterparts. Another whimsical prospect proposes that life on this celestial body might have been sown by earthly or extraterrestrial hands, whether by natural means or through intentional intervention. Then there's the audacious idea that life on K218b might be an interplanetary transplant ushered in by aliens or humans who ventured, colonized or visited this distant haven. These are musings, mere conjectures, awaiting the embrace of more evidence and diligent research to either endorse or dismiss them. What stands unwaveringly clear amidst these cosmic enigmas is that K218b is no ordinary exoplanet. It's a Haitian exoplanet, an alluring frontier beckoning the exploration of life beyond the familiar confines of our solar system. Haitian exoplanets, characterized by hydrogen-rich atmospheres, aqueous oceans and temperate climates, outnumber rocky planets like Earth. These cosmic bodies hold the potential to host a diverse array of life, from microscopic organisms to complex animals. While K218b marks the first of these Haitian exoplanets where we've discerned biosignatures and technosignatures, it may be merely the precursor to a cosmic multitude. Now, you may be pondering how James Webb managed to unveil such delicate whispers of life from a planet so distant. The journey was anything but facile, demanding an investment of time, dedication, and ingenious methodology. Webb harnessed an amalgamation of methods to scrutinize K218b's atmosphere. Here's a glimpse into the cosmic detective work. Firstly, Webb employed its NERS spec instrument to capture high-resolution spectra of K218b during its celestial transit. This technique, termed transit spectroscopy, enables measurement of star light passing through the planet's atmosphere at varying wavelengths by juxtaposing spectra before, during, and after transit. We decipher the atmospheric molecules and their light absorbing or emitting tendencies. Secondly, Webb ventured into the realm of computer modeling to simulate JWST sensor capabilities and identify pivotal molecules in the spectra. This synthetic observation modeling allows us to explore diverse scenarios regarding the atmosphere's composition and structure. Comparing the simulated and observed spectra facilitates the identification of the scenario that aligns most seamlessly with the data. Thirdly, Webb embraced statistical prowess to gauge the likelihood of spotting biosignatures and technosignatures on this distant realm. Employing Bayesian inference, this technique updates our convictions based on fresh evidence. By drawing from prior studies and observations, we calculate the probability of authenticating signs of life versus false positives. Yet these methods, while formidable, are not infallible. They encounter challenges. The starlight emanating from K218 is faint and fluctuating, complicating the acquisition of clear, consistent spectra. The atmosphere enveloping K218b is dense and cloudy, posing impediments to discerning its features. Biosignatures and technosignatures on this celestial body are feeble, intermingling with other molecules of potential non-biological origin. These challenges necessitate caution when interpreting James Webb's revelations. It's imperative to scrutinize potential sources of error, embracing an open-minded and humble approach to acknowledge the potential for inaccuracies or incomplete comprehension of life on distant worlds. This groundbreaking revelation not only has the potential to reshape our understanding of ourselves and our cosmic position, but also to unfurl novel prospects for collaboration with intelligent beings or the exploration and settlement of uncharted celestial territories. However, this cosmic journey begets fresh questions and quandaries demanding attention from realms of science, philosophy, ethics, and politics. What constitutes life? How do we discern intelligence? How do we safeguard diversity? 
How do we equitably share resources? How do we peacefully coexist? These are the celestial inquiries awaiting us in this era of cosmic exploration. As we draw the cosmic curtains on this narrative, I extend my gratitude for joining this odyssey. I trust you found it not only enjoyable but also enlightening. If that's the case, please extend your support by liking, sharing and subscribing for more cosmic chronicles like this one. Your questions and comments are treasures to us. Drop them below and let the cosmic conversation flourish. Until our next cosmic rendezvous, thank you.